Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear? <laughs> it's raining very hard near my house. What about your house? Yeah, in my house. Okay. Your house too? Yes. Okay, hold on. Give me one second. One second, please. I, I want to see who is here. Can you excuse me one moment? Okay. Hi class, my my UPS is beeping. No sé si se me va a ir la luz. Mm. One moment, please. Why, teacher? You don't have light. I'm sorry. You don't no, no, have light. I, no, no, I do. I'm gonna forget it. I, I don't know. I I heard something beeping. Like beep beep. Uh, yeah. I heard, I heard that. So, but it's, yeah, okay. Or maybe the lights just went boom, boom, and it came back. Ah, uh, yeah. So how are you? How is everything? Is everything cool? Yes, it's cool. Everything is okay, teacher. So it's it's raining hard in your house or no? 
Yes, my house. No. Yes. In my uh, house, uh, the raining started a few minutes. A few minutes ago. It's very hard. In my house, it's not raining yet. Not yet? Oh, okay, wait, wait for it. It will. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me open the um, module. Okay, class, today we're going to use internet terms. Do you know what internet terms are? Internet terms. Hello? This is a technology now. I'm sorry, excuse me, what did you say? When you use uh, your internet for for search um, any topic, I don't know, or any image. Okay, okay, that could be one. But listen, technology buzzwords. We're going to learn what is a buzzword. Nah. Yes. What is the meaning of buzzword? Buzzwords is like palabras claves. Okay. I'm sorry? This I is think is buzzword. No, 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 buzzwords. Uh, we'll give you an example. Let's listen to the video and then we'll talk about what buzzwords are. I will tell you about that, okay? Hold on, please. Hi again. Can As you, you know, we use technology every day. That is why it's important to know vocabulary about technology. Technology buzzwords. One, download. Two, chat room. Three, hotspot. Four, blog. Five, Freeware, six, webcam, seven, podcast, eight, spyware, nine, instant messaging, ten, computer virus. Messaging. 10. Okay, those are buzzwords. Um, these are things that we only understand in the internet. Download, chat room, hotspot, a blog. Okay, what is download? Do you know what download is? Download yes. is when you, when, when you, uh, um, you need a new application and you, Download the, the application, download. Okay, yes, download is. It's letter C, trans, translate file to your computer. Yes. Okay, what is a chat room? Chat room. A short message that are. Father Danimo. Do you remember Messenger? Yes. Yes, teacher. It's letter yeah. E, letter, um, letter E. Short message yes. that are faster than emails. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a chat room. But actually, yeah. I don't like that definition, short message, because that is a chat. 
That yeah, is a it, text it, message. It, the letter H. A the website channel. where people have discussions, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. That is a chat room. Like, for example, um, what's up? I imagine that you have, you have Mara del Trabajo, Mara de la U, Mara de la Colonia. <laughs> you have those different chat rooms, no? Yes. Familia, family, friends. <laughs> but you had another, uh, another buzzword. Uh, the same the blog, no? The blog is a uh, is the um, a website where people have a discussion. No, That's a blog a, would be J. An online journal of personal opinions. Yes, that's a blog. Yes. Oh. Usually, um, everybody has a blog. Uh, Mauricio Funes, Mauricio Funes has a blog. I think he's the only politician. Who else has a blog? Well, yeah, many politicians have blogs, but the most popular one maybe is Mauricio Funes. It's a, a journal about personal opinions. Now, um, a blog can be po politics. It can be personal things, likes, don't likes. Okay, next we have freeware. What is freeware? Freeware. Yeah, available, available for free. Okay. <clears throat> Webcam. Webcam. A camera. A that's camera. A camera. That's 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 a now so they're like, <laughs> now they're like ten dollars. <laughs> okay, podcast. What is a podcast? Podcast. Radio or TV shows for you to replay. Radio or TV show. Yeah, it's a radio or a TV show. Good. Spyware. Spyware. <clears throat> so what that harm? Your online activity. Computer. Computer online activity. Letter G. So where does that secretly record your online activity? Yes. Okay. Letter next, G. Next we have webcams. Webcams. Uh, oh wow, we, I'm sorry, we did wait, wait, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, nine. Instant messaging. Is the Best short message messages that are e faster than email. Good. Computer virus. So what available software for people? that attacks, software that attacks computer. Okay, good. Now listen, uh, ta, 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 let me tell you what a buzzword <laughs> is. Who works in sales? Sorry. Who works in sales? Sales. Sales and ventas. Who works in sales? Me hmm. sometimes, but it depends, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. So let's see. Irena, Irena, tell me, what do you sell? Uh, equipment. What kind of equipment? Firewalls. Okay, firewalls. To who? To, to customers, uh, for example, banks. Okay. All right, good, good, good. What about you, Milton? What do you sell? Tell uh, teacher what? You said you sell. What do you sell? What do you sell? Um, I sell um, uh, uh, textile. Okay. Let's do one thing. Imagine I sell computers. Yes, imagine I sell computers. And you saw a computer online. 
and the computer online is $300. Now you call me, call me and you tell me you want that computer for $300. Okay, Katya, so imagine, okay, call me and say, hi, I saw and I saw on Facebook that you have a computer for $300. Now listen to this. Yes, uh, in my case, well, let me finish it and I'll explain. Okay, so Katya, call me. Hello. Hello. Hi, thank you for calling Computer Center. How can I help you? Um, I, I saw you. Um, how computer? You saw the computer on where? In Facebook? Uh, yes. Oh, okay, good. How much was it? Uh, how much? Yes. <laughs> Do you remember the price of the computer? Yes, yes. Uh, $400. Oh, 400 Okay. Yeah, we, yes. Oh, yes, that one's selling very good right now. Okay, good. Yes, we do have it. Can I have your name, please? Okay. May I have your name, please? Mm, Katia. Katia. Okay. Katia, do you plan to use this computer for business or personal use? Uh, for business. For business. Only you're going to be using it or your husband and children? Not only me. Okay, how old are your children? I, I don't have children. Oh, you don't, oh, okay. So only you, right? Yes, only for me. And you said for business? Yes. Correct, oh, okay. If I may ask, what type of business are you in? I, um, I am programmer. Oh, you're a programmer. Okay. Yes. Um, do you like streaming also? Are you, I mean, you're only directly going to use the computer for, for um, business or you are also going to use it sometimes for personal use? You know, like watch a movie, watch videos, chat, FaceTime. Sometimes, sometimes. Okay, so you like to watch movies or listen to music? Yes. But the mod uh, is for business. Okay, great. Listen, um, the reason why I was asking, because this computer is very good, it's $400. The only thing is very, very basic. Now you told me that you're going to use it for business. You need some very good spyware and firewall because it doesn't come with it. You have to buy it. Okay, and, and remember that when, when you work in business, you really need good protection. You, need, you really need a good antivirus. Also, you, because you said that you're going to work in business, um, I imagine you download and you have a lot of, um, you download programs and you put a lot of programs in your hard drive, correct? Okay, okay this computer is very good, but it's only three RAM. As you know, the majority of computers, that's, that's not even basic in this moment. I would recommend you to get a computer for at least eight RAM. Because how, how do you much know, is? Yeah, if I may ask, do you know what RAM is? Sometimes people don't know. Do you understand what the difference between RAM and yes. hard drive is? Well, it was that seeming mine. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So, but you know, okay, this computer, like I said, it's fine. It's four hundred dollars. It's very, it's very cheap. But eventually, you will need to upgrade, aumentarle. You know, from three RAM maybe to a minimum of eight RAM. You need to put some good software. I can fix all that for you. You can do it yourself outside, or I can send you the computer set with all the software, the antivirus, and eight RAM, um, because we can make the computer for you, it would be $600. So it's really not that bad, it's good. 
because eventually you have to buy the RAM somewhere, pay somebody to install it and this and that. So it's, you know, so I can set everything up for you at $600. Is that okay? I think it's okay. Okay, good. Okay, class. <laughs> I have money. Yeah, I have money. Okay. What I did, what I did is I sold Katya assuming. I didn't ask Katya, do you have children? I said, Katya, are your children going to use the computer? Ella me respondió, I don't have children. Those are buzzwords, palabras claves. En ventas o en lo que sea. Cuando un abogado está interrogando a alguien, oye palabras claves, buzzwords. Como, ah, dijo esto, lo anoto. Porque después voy a usar eso en su contra. For example, in this case, Katia's buzzword was business. Business, business, business. De ahí me agarré. That was the buzzword for me because she said business. Oh, okay, so I'm going to sell her some good RAM and some good spyware. If she said, no, personal use, I like to listen to music. Oh, music, buzzword. Oh, le hubiera vendido parlantes. <laughs> oh, no, I like videos. I like to vi chat video. Oh, good webcam. All those things are buzzwords. Like those words will help you. That is a buzzword. Do you understand what is a buzzword now? Yes. Yes. So yes. you, yeah. So like it example, can, yes. And it can uh, translate as a termino? No. No. No, like women or men, do you remember when you had a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you want to discover the favorite things of that girl? So mm -hmm. like, maybe she mentions, oh, es que me encantan los tulipanes. Oh, that's a buzzword, tulipanes. Okay. Mm. You know, that, that's, that's a word you need to remember as a man because someday you're going to buy her flowers and you will remember, hey, she said tulipanes. That, you know, the buzzword is depending on the situation. Okay. If it's business, it can be business, personal, lo que sea. <laughs> Okay. Teacher, in Spanish, yes. palabras claves. Yes, I would say that palabras claves. Buzzword is not a formal. It's not algo formal. It's not, you cannot find that in the in translation, I think. It's como un idiom. It's an idiom, yes. Okay. Uh -huh, I would say that palabras claves. Escuchan las palabras claves, you know. Yes, remember, men, when... when the first, second, third date with your girlfriend, you listen to everything. You listen to everything. Oh, what music? So what music do you like? And, oh, I love Arjona. I like Mark Anthony. Uh, and then like you see two months later, Arjona in El Magico Gonzalez. Hey, and you remember, hey, she mentioned Arjona. So you buy the ticket. Y cuando Arjona viene el año después, ya ni la llevan. ¿Para qué? Va a venir Arjona. Que te vaya bien. It's a surprise. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are buzzwords. Like, for example, I was, in my situation, I was pretending to have sales with Katia. So I was trying to get buzzwords from my conversation with her. And my conclusion was that she was a businesswoman. Esa es una y dos that she knows about computers, maybe more than me. So I have to be careful, you know, like, uh oh, you understand? So, you know, that's how you, you use your thing. So, um, uh, Mr. Jacko, you, you told me that you, or well, yeah, Mr. Jacko, right? So when you sell, you have to listen to all those buzzwords. Um, I'm telling you because before I used to sell computers, cuando le dije que trabajaba en Dell, 
Yes. Down, down. Man, I learned so many, so many tactics. So many That's tactics. Why you look like a salesman? <laughs> no, and, and you know, in my personal life too, I, I use sales a lot because like, I remember this is the typical man when you like a girl, you know, we usually say, hi, uh, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, and, and you know, that's what we say. And then the girl goes like, hi, oh, dear me. But if we say it, if yes. we, but if we say it differently, like, oh man, I like that girl, but I don't know if she has a boyfriend or not. Como le pregunto? So you, I see her eating lunch, like, Hey, that looks good. Que no cocino, you or your boyfriend? <laughs> so, yo, I don't have a boyfriend. I cook for me. Blah blah. Ya me dijo todo sin que yo preguntarle. You know? <laughs> wow. Yeah. You are good on that. <laughs> no, I was good on that. No, no, but uh, those those were sales because I remember that we used to like this. That, that was the example. People would call me. Oh, I want that computer, and I said, okay, is it for you or business? No, you know, for me, maybe my children. Oh, you have children. Great. How old are your children? Oh, one is six, one is 12. And for me, oh, God, didn't know. Say, so no, oh, so boom, 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 boom. And in my mind, I am thinking of what to add to that computer. <laughs> you know, like, because she's giving me buzzwords. For example, like, for the first 10 years of my relation with my wife, I always, always chose where to eat. But she thought she chose. But unconsciously, I chose. Because if she told me, what do you want to eat? Hamburgers? No, no, no. I don't want hamburgers because we always eat what you want. Oh, okay. You know that situation, people? ¿Qué comemos? Hamburguesa. No, ya voy a hamburguesa. Okay, ¿qué quieres comer? I don't know. Tacos? No, no, tampoco. Siempre quieres tacos. Okay. So I tell her, what do you want? I don't know what I want. Me, I want hamburgers. In my mind, right? Okay. So you don't know what you want? No, I don't know. Let's go to Benny Guns. There's a very big, big, you can eat tacos, hamburger, pasta, soup, salad. There's like, it's like a, yes, it's true. I perceive I'm Benny Guns. I win because I wanted a hamburger from Benny Guns, but I made her, I made her choose unconsciously. Why? Because she told me buzzwords. So remember that in English, always buzzwords. Yes. Saben donde dicen que se usan muchos buzzwords también es en entrevistas de trabajo. Yeah, always, always listen for the buzzwords, you know, those are important. Okay, so do you understand what is a buzzword now? Yes. So really, yeah. there's, there's no like explanation in Spanish for that. There's no, but I would say palabras claves or palabras mm -hmm. útiles. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So listen, it says, by the end of this class, participants will learn practice, use passive of the present continuous, present perfect and future. Okay, we're going to speak passive. Okay, passive. I have a question. In English, there are two ways of speaking, a passive form and an active form. Okay, so let me see, let me see. Let me do one thing. Let me see, watch.
What do you see here, class? I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Yes. yes. It's a shark. It's a no, shark. No, no, but uh, tell me, give me the sentence. The sentence. The big, the... The big the fish big is... The big fish, fish is Joe and the little fish is Mike. Hmm. Oh, no. The big Joe. fish eat a, a short fish. Hmm. A, a little fish. The big fish eat. So, com, el pez grande comer pez pequeño. Joe Por el tiempo. Is following, okay. Joe is following Mike. Joe is following Mike. Okay. Joe is going to eat Mike, Sara. Sara, are you there? Yes. No, uh, yeah, oh, I Okay. Understand. Yeah, because you said the big fish eat little fish. That's not a that's not no tiempo. No. Joe is going to eat. Yeah, or probably Joe will eat Mike. Okay, good. Okay, so yes, Joe is going to eat Mike. Uh, Joe will eat Mike. Joe is following Mike. What if I say this? What is the difference if I say Mike is going to be eaten by Joe? It's the passive voice. But does the, does the story change? No, it's the same. Oh, no, it's the same. It's the same story, right? I mean, Joe is dead. Mike, Mike is dead. So I can say Joe is going, or okay, let's say the big fish is going to eat the little fish, correct? Mm -hmm. Or the little fish is going to be eaten by the big fish. The story changed? No. No, not changed. The tense changed? No. No. Okay. No. no. So what is the difference? So even in Spanish, el pez grande se va a comer al pequeño o el pez pequeño va a ser comido por el grande. What is the difference? It's a passive voice. Which the one is order. passive? The emphasis the is the example. Why is that passive? The emphasis is the example. Excuse me? Maybe because the, the history doesn't change. Okay, look, I'm going to give you two explanations. Okay, two explanations. Number one, the grammatical explanation. And number two, I'm going to give you the logical explanation. Okay, here's the grammatical university uh, blah, 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 explanation. Active voice is when the subject is first and the object is last. Do you Can know you what is, please? okay, well, first, do you know what is a subject? What is the definition of a subject? Oh, teacher. Do the action. Yes, the subject does the action. Good. And the object? Is the act. Who receives the action. Very good. The object receives the action. Good. So, Teacher, active, yes. Can you repeat what is the definition of active voice? Of course, yes. Active voice is when the subject goes first and the object last. Big fish is going to eat the little fish. What is the subject? Big fish. Big fish. The object? The little fish. Little fish. Okay, little good. Fish. So that's an active voice then because the subject is first and the object is last. Now let's change. Passive voice. Passive voice is when the object is first and the subject is last. Uh, this may be... The, the little, the little, uh, uh, the little, the little fish 
is was eaten by big big fish. It's going to be eaten. It's going to be eaten. Okay. So, but listen, passive voice is when the object is first and the subject is last. Yeah, yeah. It's in, it's in uh, the sample is in future. Is for for this reason is is going to eat. And yeah, I I understand. Thank you. Well, okay, okay. So one more time, class. Um, subject is what? What is that? I'm sorry. Subject. I'm sorry. What is an active voice? Is uh, when the subject, subject is the first, object is the is the second or last. Okay, what is the object? I'm sorry. What is a passive voice? Yeah, let me let it first. When the is object, when the object is, is first, first and, and the subject, subject is, is second last. or last. Okay, good. That is the grammatical explanation. Now I'm going to give you the logical explanation. Okay, so what is the difference? The difference is who do you want to make important, the subject or the object? Because when I showed you this, when I showed you this, everybody mentioned Joe first. Todos mencionaron a Joe, primero. Nadie dijo, hey, pobre Mike va a ser comido por Joe. Everybody said, hey, Joe is going to eat Mike, correct? So we made Joe more important than Mike. But because if you, <laughs> I'm sorry? Because the, the fish were uh, Joe. The big, it was the, the, big, the big mm -hmm. fish. Well, I mean, yeah, but it's not, it's not because Joe is the big fish. I mean, the story doesn't change. Mm -hmm. It's like I said, but it's who, who do you want to make important? I have a question. Yes. In this case, the uh, example in Mike and, and another fish is, um, suppose, the big fish is the subject now. Yes. In the object, the, um, the another fish. The little fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Let's do it more simple. The cat and the mouse. The cat is going to eat the mouse. Is that subject? I'm sorry, is that active or passive? As a voice. Active, active, active voice. Active voice. And we can say the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. Yeah. Passive voice. Passive voice. Passive voice. Now, normally, the human people, us, we normally speak active always but sometimes sometimes we speak passive because sometimes we want to make the object more important nunca han hablado así como yo fui elegido para para la cena de gala de parte de la empresa is that active or passive? Yo fui invitado por el gerente general a la presentación. It's passive. I think it's passive. passive. Yeah, because I'm making myself important. Like, hey, hey, class, hey, amigos, what? I was invited. I was invited to a dinner in presidential house by Bukele. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, I am making myself more important than Bukele, as I used to. <laughs> yes. Or I can say, hey, class, Bukele invited me to a dinner in presidential house. Yeah, so that, that is the difference. There's the grammatical explanation and the logical explanation. And the logical explanation is who do you want to make more important? The subject or the object?
¿Se acuerdan que muchas veces estaban eh, en la guerra de Ucrania, Rusia? Mucha gente decía, está a punto, Ucrania está a punto de ser invadida por Rusia. Yes. Is that active or passive? Passive. It's passive. Yes, because the news were making Ukraine more important. Ahora, si viene el otro lado, amarillista de la prensa va a decir, Russia is going to invade Ukraine. Yes? Yes. Yes. En la corte, yo fui atacado por el, por el ladrón. <laughs> o el ladrón me atacó. It, like I said, I mean, it's the same story. One very important thing. Don't change the tense. If the story is future, the active and the passive is future. If the story is present, the active and the, and the, active and the passive is present. Because remember, the story doesn't change, only the importance. Okay, so that is an active and passive voice. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Let yes, me teacher. see. Let me see an important event. What happened to the president John F. Kennedy? He was murdered. He was murdered. Very good. Oh, you see, you're speaking passive. Yes, you're making you're making Kennedy important here. And that's very good. Or you can say somebody murder him. <laughs> Other story. Okay. Okay. So let's let's see. Okay, so now we understand in passive. So we're going to listen to passive. A present continuous and present perfect and future. So we're going to listen to the object first. Hi, in English we tend to use passive voice a lot. Stay and learn how to use it in present continuous, present perfect and future. Passive of present continuous, present perfect, future. Use these passive tenses for action where the emphasis is on the object of the action. Use the passive of the present continuous for ongoing actions. An increasing number of degrees are being offered online. Use the passive of the present perfect for recently completed actions. More music has been downloaded this year than ever before. Use will plus passive or be going to plus passive for actions that will begin in the future. More computers will be affected by viruses. More healthcare sites are going to be used by people from home. The passive is most often used when it is not known or it is not important to know who performed the action. The phrase by plus doer of the action is only used when it is important to know who performed the action. For example, the song was sung. The song was sung by my favorite singer. Only transitive verbs can be used in the passive. Intransitive verbs such as happen, seem, sleep cannot be used in the passive form. Try typing a sentence using passive in each tense. Okay, let's do it our way. Let me see. Milton. Are, are you there, Milton? Yes, teacher. I'm here. Okay, the Tell song. Me. What what is the name of the song? Mama just killed a man. The Queens. I put a gun against the city. Bohemian. Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay, good. Bohemian Rhapsody. Who wrote that song? Uh, repeat, please. Who wrote that song? Who wrote the uh, Queen? Exactly. 
But answer complete, please. Uh, the um, it's a it's a group group uh, queen or our uh, band band the queen's uh, song uh, uh Rapture Bohemi. Okay, I'm sorry, I was fixing. Can you repeat, please? Who wrote that song? Uh, the the uh, Bohemi Rhapsody mm -hmm. is song for a group Queen. Yes, but listen to my question. Who wrote the song? Who wrote? Who wrote? Uh, right, okay, right. Okay. The past of right is. The the song is Freddie Mercury. The song is Freddie Mercury. No, that's not a complete sentence. Listen to my it's question. Taken. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, Jacko. Wait, wait. Hold on. Give me one second. <laughs> Milton, listen to my question. Who wrote the song? Okay, you have the answer. Freddie Mercury. Yes. So Freddie Mercury what? Freddie Mercury composed the, the song. Okay, good. Right there. Stop, stop. Okay, very good. Ahí está eso de todo. Freddie Mercury composed the song or Freddie Mercury wrote the song? Okay. Good. Class, was that active or passive? Active. Passive. Active. Okay. What is the passive? The song, the song by was written by Freddie Mercury. Exactly. The song was written by Freddie Mercury. In this case, in this case, is both are correct because if you want to make the song more important or Freddie Mercury more important, the two are okay. Imagine Mama just killed a man. Oh man, that's a beautiful song. It was written by Freddie Mercury. Mama just killed him. Oh man, that's a beautiful song. Freddie Mercury wrote that song. So that is the difference between active and passive. Do you understand? Yes, it's clear. Yes. Okay, good. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, Mr. Jacko, Elindes is shut down, right? It's shut down is shut down, como es cerrado, right? Yes. No, no, I'm sorry, not, not, not in this, uh, fast food. Classic. Okay. Como se llama shut down? Shut down. Uh, no, I don't know. For example, yeah. what happened to the building? The building in front of Galerias. Millennium. Intervenido. Yeah. Uh, uh, but. O clausurado. Clausurado. Clausurado es inhabitable. No se puede usar, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that, that expression in English is shut down. Okay. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Shut yes, down. because it's not closed because um, the university is closed in this moment, but tomorrow we will be open. But yes. different from the Millennium Building or, or fast food in this moment that they are shut down. Okay. Why? Yes. Uh <laughs> I don't, I don't see it that not, not dice, not dice. You don't know what's happening in the fast food? No, I don't know. Oh my God. You don't <laughs> want, I mean, you don't need to know about soccer, but everybody knows what's happening because it's everywhere. <laughs> no, I can't, I, I can't play soccer, never, only basketball. No, no, but but uh, it's not necessarily soccer. It's it's something. 
now the problem has become political. Wow, I, 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 um, I, I tired of retrocessing the news. I don't know. The president of Peru has uh, is um, uh, señalado. I don't know how to say señalado. Like uh, accused. Money. <laughs> accused of. Accused uh, of estafas. No. Yes, of fraud. Uh, He's been accused of fraud. Okay, but okay, let's change fast food. Millennium, millennium building, Mr. Jacko. Do you know what's happening in the Millennium Building? Uh, I, I I remember uh, I see some something about uh, a, a, a name Hugo Carrillo, but I, I don't I don't yeah he see he more. is he is or he was the president and he's in big trouble in this moment. Okay, but let's change fast food. What about Millennium Building? It shut down. Do you know that where the it's, mil it's, it's West shut down, shut down. Okay, good. So the Millennium Building was shut down. Okay. In this case, by who? By the government, by, right? By, by the government, yeah. So in this case, you can say the complete answer or the short answer, both are correct. So the Millennium Building was shut down. You can stop there. So it's not important who did it. But if you want to make who did it important, then you say complete. The Millennium Building was shut down by the government. By the government, yeah. Is that active or passive? Um, it's a it's a passive. Passive. What is the active, Jack, Mr. Jackal? Um, 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 okay. Uh, shut down. Mm -hmm. Um, shutting down. No, I can use shutting down. If it's in present the, continuous, yes. The Millennium Building is shut down. No. The government no, down. no, the president, the president uh, shut down the Millennium Building. Exactly. The president or the government, <laughs> because remember okay. you said in the passive the uh, the building was shut down by the government. Yes. Or now the active would be the government shut down the um, Millennium the Building. Millennium building. Now, yeah. Sara, why why are you saying shutting down? Mm, because you use what? No, in this case, remember what that's what I told you. This is very important, class. Nothing changes. The story is the same. The only thing that changes the subject and the object, the importance. But if the story is in future, active and passive is in future. If it's in present continuous, active and passive is in present continuous. Do you understand, Sara? Um, okay, Sara, escucha. El, pres, el gobierno clausuró el edificio Millennium. Okay. El edificio Millennium está siendo clausurado por el gobierno. ¿Es la misma historia? Sí. No. No. Listen, oigan la primera, ¿qué dije? El Ajá. gobierno clausuró el edificio. What is that? Simple pass, correct? Yes. yes. Ok. Por lógica sería la la otra es el edificio fue clausurado por el gobierno me quedo siempre en simple past pero si yo le cambio a present continuous ya no es la misma historia do you understand Sara yeah because uh First example was different no? because uh, Freddie Mercury composed the song mm -hmm. or Freddie Mercury wrote the song. Mm -hmm. it, it's an active. 
in the passive, um, you use the song was written for Freddie Mercury. Written. Yeah, the song was written for Freddie Mercury. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, I see your point. Okay. Always, always in passive, we use the verb in past participle. In past participle. Yes. Ironically, you know what? This is, I don't know. What is that noise? Okay. Okay, it was Milton. Okay, this is one of the few things that the grammar is identical in English and Spanish. This is identical in English and Spanish. Listen to this. The cat is going to eat the mouse. El gato se va a comer el ratón. Simple future. The mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. El ratón va a ser comido. Comido, that's past participle. By, por el gato. So, past participle son los verbos que terminan ado, edo, ido, odo, udo. Comer, comido. Correr, corrido. Ver, vido. No, mentiras. Um, Beber, bebido. Dormir, dormido. Yes. Now I understand your question, Sara. Let me see. Nelsie. Okay. Yes. When I, when my story was in future, my active voice was in my subject in... In future, my, my plus object in future, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. I understand. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Um, so let's do one thing. Marcela. Hello. Do you know this beautiful song? Um, Como quisiera que tu vivieras, que tu sonidos. Do you know that song? Do you know that song? Uh, yes, I hear it. Do you know the name of that song? Mm, no, I don't remember the name. It's called Amor Eterno. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. Do you know who sings that song? Uh, no. no. Oh my god. Oh my god. But <laughs> yes, I listen it. Marcela, I understand you are young. Okay, good. Yes, but that <laughs> that is no excuse. That is no excuse. For you not to know who Juan Gabriel is. Oh. When I was little, when I was very little, I listened to uh, Frank Sinatra. Y, y había nacido cuando... That's... <laughs> Do you know Juan Gabriel, Marcela? Juan Gabriel? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, he wrote that song. He wrote Amor Eterno. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so I said active. Can you tell me the passive voice? Yeah. Amor Eterno was written by Juan Gabriel. Exactly. Very good. Marcela. Tell me. ¿Cuál canción es esta? Y cómo es? Hawaii de vacaciones, mis felicitaciones. What song is that? Uh, 
Okay, you don't know. <laughs> no, forget it. No, I don't know. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Creo que es una maluma. Creo que es maluma. Bad Bunny. Uh, pero, okay. Pero me, me, uh, iba yeah. me, iba, me iba a enojar si sabías eso. Oh, that's maluma. <laughs> uh, I hear, uh, I listen to Ricardo Jona or maybe Maná. <laughs> I I met Arjona one time. I met Arjona one time by accident. Oh. In the beach. Really? Yes. Um, oh, cool. I was I was with my family and we were eating. It was on Tuesday, Wednesday. It was a weekday. And we were eating in Hola Betos or Hola Beto. We were eating in Hola Beto and um, suddenly like the VIP room and like this cars came and I asked the waiter what happened. And so you know de repente, <laughs> you know. Oh so oh Arjona is coming, so they're preparing for everything. Oh really Arjona? He was like in a concert. He came for a concert in El Salvador and he stayed here one week or something. He's tall, he's very tall. Okay, let me see. Irena. Yes, it is. Don Quixote. Yes. Who wrote Don Quixote? Don Quixote was written by Miguel de Cervantes. Excellent. Don Quixote was written by Miguel Cervantes. De Cervantes. Is that active or passive class? Passive. 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 We're making it's a passive voice. All right, Irena, can you give me the active voice? Uh, let me see. Miguel de Cervantes wrote Don Quixote. Beautiful. Very good. All right, good class. So now you understand active and passive. And remember, it's the same rule in Spanish. So there's always two rules, the grammatical, the, the grammatical and the logical. Okay, uh, JJ. Yes. Who said respeto, respetuoso? Mm, I remember that the in Spanish el respeto al derecho ajeno es la paz. I didn't say that. I said the no. it. Yeah. yeah, I said respeto respetuoso. Who said I that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, JJ, really? You don't know who said that? Oh, okay. I I think that it was the that's president of Salvador. <laughs> yes. Yes. So the ex-president of El Salvador said that. Yes. Dijo eso. Respeto, respetuoso, right? Good. Yes. Or, or that was said by the ex-president of El Salvador. Yeah. I, I love that man. He was so funny. Yes. Um, de hecho, respeto al... al, al a uh, lo ajeno, el respeto a la paz es lo ajeno, ¿cómo, cómo es? Cómo es? Respeto al derecho ajeno es la paz. la paz. Emiliano Zapata said that, right? No. No era Benito Juárez. Benito yes. Juárez, thank you. Yes. Benito Juárez Benito said Juárez, that. Yes. Thank you. Benito Juárez said el respeto al derecho ajeno es la paz. Yes, it's true. Thank you. Okay, class, we'll continue a little bit more about this tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye, See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.